everyone, this is Nibiru Watch. It is August 6, 2017, and I have further evidence of the spinning fake sun, and let's just get right into it. And the lens array. More incredible evidence from Florida and Australia and from areas near the equator. So let me start with the lens array spinning lens combination that we see in our skies the lens array is not connected to the fake sun and this pulsating light that oscillates above and below exposing the lens array that we see here interlinking circles i believe to be an ultra thin lens that causes a projection i have further proof of that in my next video in this video so I believe the orange, the red lens petal effect is coming from the lens array itself. It always seems to show up when we see the lens array. Don't always see the lens petals on every camera. And the spinning black dot that we see, if we can look down this lens and check out all these interlocking lenses that we see in the lens array. Next. So... Again, what we're looking at is the conceptual art uh, of the spinning lens array and the black dot that we see. And I believe this is the object in this conceptual drawing of the artificial sun patent. This is not the actual construct of it, but showing the path of light. The light comes through, a set of mirrors bounces through, and this is the spinning object and i believe further out here we're going to have the ultra thin lens array which converges the light so you can't see the incoming planets and also a side effect of this is the holographic images that you're going to see in the next couple of minutes so let's get right into what i have for you so on chassis channel she captured on May 12th, 2015, on three separate cameras, I had compiled this. We can, um, for the sake of time, I had pre-recorded this and we could watch this morphing projection of light in this video. Please take note that this is during the setting of the sun with the sun directly below, below this holographic projection of the cube spinning because the real click cube is on the other side of the lens. So who's watched the original video, I'll leave a link in the description. So here is my spinning cube compilation. This is from the Zion Mora channel from Florida. And just watch how he zooms in on the setting sun in Florida. Some of you have seen this before. We can see the dazzling, sparkling light as he captures this and as he zooms in on this spinning sun. Then we see, let me fast forward this for us a little bit. The next thing I have for you is, again, over in Australia. Check this one out, the spinning cube. This by far is the fan, most fantastic one yet. And this coincides with what I'm going to show you in a few minutes. As he pans around, this again is Australia. And what I believe what we're going to see is a projection of this thing. Because that, I believe, is the actual object. And what we're going to see is a projection of it. Because the lens is focused the light in front. And objects are seen at the point of light convergence on the front side of this lens. So I'll fast forward if you want to see more detail. This was caught in a time lapse. Again, over in Australia, we can see the projection of light seeing the same thing sideways. Now let's look at this ob same object. What I believe these cones of light is part is coming from this spinning cube. And again, Here's another angle, again, from Australia, caught from a dash can from Australia. And twice, as the cars pass in front of it, 
you will see the black dot on the cars, on the window of the car. And I will try to pause it. As he comes to a roundabout, we see the black dot reflected on the glass on the cars that are passing in front of this area. And we see a car passing right. Let's see, catch it. There. Well, that happens pretty quick. But you will see it. You get it. Shining up on his car. So he'll look you but right there. You saw it on the glass. Again, you'll see it again on this car. Same spot. Bam. See it on the window? Twice. Go back and watch it. <clears throat> so we see the spinning cube again here. And now we've got this over in Florida, the projection. Now for the sake of time, this took up a gig of memory on the user's cell phone. They uploaded it three times to get the entirety of this, what appeared to be a UFO. But again, you're gonna see the sun is directly below this phenomenon. And I believe the light the lens is below here, and it's reconverging at this point, taking the cube out of focus, creating a hologram-like appearance of the spinning cube. And if you watch very carefully, there's the sun, and here the lens array is being projected, is projecting the spinning cube up into the... You can even see the segment mirror perhaps even the mirror panels between it. Please go just watch the original video. I'll leave a link in the description. There's three parts to it. But I'm gonna show you the whole thing in its entirety. It's three minutes long. It's worth watching. It's this thing basically morphs. And some of you have sent me videos of a morphing lens flare. That's right. That little lens flare we see when we capture the sun morphs, and this is why. So that was the part two. I have may have captured this little sequence. You can see it on the backdrop of the clouds, what appeared to be a bright orb. I believe many times people have captured this, the, the orb in the sun, I think is the holographic image of this spinning cube. That's your orb. these and there may be more of these cubes the exact design and pattern is only theoretical there may be three of them there may be just one I say three because I saw three cones of light in the earlier part of this time-lapse just check that out at any one point you can almost make out the six sides or the square side depending on how the cube is spinning That is just fantastic. Thank you so much. We've got one minute left. So there you have it, folks. Here's a projection of the lens array and the spinning sun right below the sun. This is it sunset. So there you go. I got uh, captured one more. Let me speed this up a little bit. There's another part to it. Check out the distinct lines in this spinning orb. You can almost, you can make out crosses, the patterns that you'd see. There's the sun. Here's the, the orbiting projection of the spinning light cube. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. That is amazing. Why would the sun cause a projection? Only because there is a lens array. And here, I believe, again, evidence that was seen with the naked eye 
the lenses being converging at the light point of convergence. You cannot get this in the sky unless there are lenses up there distorting light at the point of convergence. As the sun passes in front of these, watching these things collapse and converge one lens upon another. Uh, I can go into a lot of detail about that. So I'm not going to go into further detail about this, but please copy, like, and share this video and thumb it up, showing the trolls that you stand for truth. I encourage others to watch this video. See you at the Lord's Supper. Have a blessed day.